the dooms the analytics and the naysayers in our society must know and must understand that their narrative will not be allowed to go by with a free pass. No. We cannot allow that. Because we'll be doing a discredit to the government and all those hard-working technocrats and technicians. And the rest of our society in the productive sector who are building out a country that is growing, a country that is seeing transformation, and a society that is seeing tremendous value creation and wealth creation. So when you look at all of the, what he's been saying, you will, you will see that his address to the nation was just another one of the typical things that you will expect at every press conference from APNU. I don't know how people can actually believe this sort of thing. I don't know how people, it takes a special um, human being to, to hear all these lies over and over again when you can easily fact check them and, and continue to believe them. So only the hardcore in their camp could ever believe this. But my concern was no scrutiny whatsoever by the media. It's either one of two things, that they believe that um, he is unimportant as a leader and they don't have a chance of getting into power, so you might as well ignore it. The media might have had that view in mind, this direct news, so why pay waste our time on fact-checking what he has to say? Because in any case, it's going to happen all the time. They'll continue to lie and push the racism. It's either that or they have a bias towards, towards um, the, the, the apnu and the lies that they are telling.